Derek Coleman, as we all know, he was in the Duracell commercial that really inspired many. It's been played over 10 million times on YouTube. If you've not seen it, link is in the description below, if I remember to put it there, honestly. So Derek Coleman then inspired two little girls who wrote a letter to him and their father tweeted it to Derek Coleman and the Seahawks, basically saying, you are such an inspiration. I am all, my sister and I are also deaf. Um, you've, you've just been great for us. And it was just a really cute, heartfelt note. So then, the girls are on Good Morning America, and they're talking about how, how joyful they are. You know, they're, they're gonna see the Seahawks in the Super Bowl. They're so happy about it, and they're talking about Derek. And then Derek Coleman shows up. And Coleman already leaves a lasting impression just by being there, because they previously asked them, so what would you do if he was here? Mm -hmm. And then he shows up, and it's like this cute little moment. And then he pulls out a bag and is like, I want to invite you guys to come see the Seahawks play at the Super Bowl. And the little, one of the little girls goes, you're kidding, right? And he's like, no, 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 no. And he pulls out the tickets. They give him a hug and everything. Uh, I mean, we rarely see this with professional athletes going way out of their way, not just to write a letter back, he did, on mm -hmm. Twitter, but then inviting them to the Super Bowl and going and seeing them personally. I mean, I, I'm, I cannot say enough about the character that this guy has. And you know, and I wish it happened more because it's not that hard. But actually, the funny thing is, you rarely see it, but it happens. It happens. Yeah. But it's it not happened. on national TV, right. it's not True. shown. But a lot of guys do stuff like this off the field, off season, but it's not aired. Yeah. Obviously, the rest are aired, but they don't show. The guys they don't do, want the publicity, is that it? No, no, I mean, it, they could. They could probably call the PR person or whatever, but I mean, they just do it. They have a charity, they do stuff out of their yeah. way. But like I said, like, off season, it's not like prime news. The prime news is guys getting in trouble. So or it's kind of weird. Or maybe someone who plays for Jacksonville, they're not going to be in big games. Yeah, they're not <laughs> so in a big game. They so do like, stuff. Guys have done out of the way stuff. I mean, but this is, you know, on a le different level, yeah. obviously. This is spectacular. But I mean, guys, we don't see it, but it happens type of thing. Can this be the point when um, the video gets cut off because this, okay. Uh. <laughs> Don't do it. Come on. It's say? such a good story. <laughs> Don't do think it. That's what I'm saying. It's a great story. And, and as you said, a lot of people do it. And it's sweet and it's nice. It's just this might have been the wrong Super Bowl to do it. They're going to freeze. It's going to be five <laughs> degrees out there. I hope, hope he packed them extra thermal coats, some seat warmers, hand I warmers. I 100% he didn't get them the tickets. I bet you Duracell got them the tickets. And I bet you Duracell those, did hook them up. those tickets are inside of a suite somewhere. Oh, oh, that'd so. be nice. Oh, so because then they're inside of us. They're gonna be sitting there going, "I hate Derek Durso's Coleman. not. I hate Derek Durso's Coleman. Durso's not a broke company. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you do this to us? 